Hey guys, welcome to All Street Comics Off Topic. We're your host, Kirby Kidd. And Black Super, Also known as David Clark. And Walter Bryant. And today we're talking about a whole bunch of DC and a little bit of Marvel stuff. Let's start with a little bit of Marvel. Let's get that out the way. Um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on ABC. This fall. September 24th. It's happening. They have a date now. And Coulson's car is pretty cool. Yeah. You don't you don't touch Lola. <laughs> uh, looking forward to that. Um, I'm a little upset that in the poster there's no black guy. You know, like the one you saw in the trailer. But a lot of people are saying Cage. that they're they're not showcasing him a lot because of who he is. Like they don't want to spoil anything. Now we saw the little alien thing, and unless this is the ultimate Luke Cage that they has an alternate new storyline, it can't be Power Man. No. I don't know, like like I saw like part of his powers in one of the one of the commercials. Mm -hmm. And that definitely is not Power well, Man power. I mean, they could be updating him. And changing it because remember his original storyline was he was in prison and they gave him Captain Regular Serum to get him out. They may want to just erase the whole prison thing and make it alien tech. Well, they did that if they uh, if you looked at the Ultimate Spider Man because the Ultimate Spider Man they were like, yeah, my parents gave it to me and his plane crashed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I guess. So I mean, it, they could they could change it a little bit, but even still, um. There's a there's a lot to be said for Power Man being who he was. Like Luke Cage as a street thug is actually kind of cool. Yeah, but I, I think he was wearing was he wearing yellow pants? No, it was a yellow shirt. Yellow shirt. It was a bright yellow shirt and, and some blue brown, jeans. And, I thought oh, blue and, jeans. Okay, yeah, and, like a brown and, jacket, right? And a, yeah, the brown jacket. Yeah, that's, that's like Luke. This, that's that's Luke Cage. And he had this metal thing on his head. With that's a, Luke Cage. No one wears a yellow shirt other than Luke Cage, and he can pull it off. But see, and you know, but you know what's funny? Oh. It's like yeah, who's going to tell Luke Cage he can't wear the right? yellow shirt? You look gay. What? Punch you into like to Texas, <laughs> like some people could just wear whatever they want, and you have to deal with it. Yeah, and like Cap could wear a pink shirt, and you have to sit there and take it. <laughs> yeah, the Hulk could wear pink pants, and you better just you, you better he, say he pink wears is my purple, favorite color. He wears purple pants, and it's a manly color when he wears it. Yeah, purple is your new favorite color. Exactly, <laughs> but um, so I, I kind of wanted to be Luke Cage because they were the little arm thing that is still CG, so they have time to take that out. That's only just taking a layer out. <laughs> Fair enough. So hopefully it ends up being Luke Cage. That's the only reason why I can see them not putting him in promotions and trying to keep him secret. Unless it's a new Marvel character. Yeah, it could be or it could be a mutant that, we, that we've known from the past or something like that. Who? Um, Like Sink. You don't know who Sink is? Nope. Oh, he only started reading comic books about five years no. ago. No. No. Okay, would factually, yes, but no. <laughs> I know all the important mutants. Sink is this really cool black kid who um, had the power to, when he's next to other mutants, mm -hmm. um, sync with them and then therefore use their power. So he's like rogue except without the killing you part? Yeah. And then he keeps he gets to keep it for a couple of hours, but he doesn't but it doesn't kill him. If he's around everybody, can he take all their powers? Yes. So if he roll with the X Men, he would just be in invincible. Something like that. And it actually he doesn't have a choice. Like uh -oh. like other mutants come into come into his vicinity and he suddenly just has their power. So if you're like Apocalypse or some other really really bad mutant guy you can never beat this guy because he will always be at, at least your level well for some reason like he got into a battle I think Apocalypse was around or something I can't remember exactly what but for some reason he couldn't sync with, with Apocalypse well, probably got all the sec right yeah because well, he's not just purely mutant anymore right? and not anymore and then also let's face it if you had this guy who was able to just sync with Apocalypse then you would just kill Apocalypse and Apocalypse is like X Men's big bad, so you can't really just go kill him. You could, you could, but you can't. That's true, you can't. Um, but yeah, so we don't know who he is yet. We hoping, we're hoping somebody good. But then again, as long as Coulson's on the show, I really kind of don't care. <laughs> yeah, Col I mean, Coulson is cool. It's basically the Coulson show with like people who are in the background doing stuff. Yeah, Coulson's cool. Like yeah. I didn't think so in the beginning. Like the, the but like, Iron Man. Uh, yeah, like in Iron Man, he was. He was I, I did. I thought he was cool because I'm like he's saying shield. He was funny. He was funny, but he wasn't cool. Then I I, I watched this. Um, I think it was Iron Man two where mm -hmm. they had the where they had the uh, Colson clip mm -hmm. where he goes to the store and and uh, <laughs> yeah. stops the robbery while he's buying a soda or something. Crazy right, like that. exactly. That was that was, and I was like, oh, he's tight. Right. Yeah. He's, I mean, he's cool. As I, I, like Colson has wrote himself into the role, and then the the other agent that rolls that rolls with Colson in the movies, the um, the, the I think the guy with the brown skin, the glasses. Uh -huh. I think he's on the verge of. Regular because he seems he's really hilarious too, so yeah. hopefully he, he hopefully he eats something too. But Coulson's hilarious, and I mean I loved in the trailer where like they're talking to that that, that like that, that newer agent and they're like uh, so what do you know about Agent Coulson? Oh, where he died in the Battle of New York, 
blah 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 and he's like so what's your security clearance he's like level six and then colson walks out welcome to level seven and i'm like oh you're still alive and not the vision so i'm a little upset but <laughs> yeah well you know the vision is going to be what's Vin diesel. Vin diesel so Vin diesel he's the vision yeah so anyway but yeah so colson's cool and it's coming september 24th on abc i'll be watching it because we'll be following that too arrow is getting is getting ready to show us some some cool stuff Power. now yeah, a lot of things that uh, that have been happening um, on the WB, I guess, they decided that, um, well, superheroes actually do make money. They're tired of letting Marvel win, basically. Yeah. <laughs> um, whoever the, the stupid chick was who uh, took over the WB and started making all those girl shows, apparently they've overridden her and decided, let's put on cool stuff again. So... You know, like Smallville went away, we got Arrow, and Arrow is a great show. It is. Now, Arrow is getting ready to introduce a new character, uh, not a new character, but is getting ready to introduce powers into their universe. Mm hmm. Black Canary, as well, I mean, we, they've been hinting at that since the first yeah, season. And they, they, that's obvious. But it's not going to be It's not gonna be Laurel. It's going to be somebody else, but with powers. Yeah. But more important than Black Canary, my man, the Flash is in. Now, I don't know which Flash, and really. Don't doesn't care. matter. Yeah, don't, don't care. It could be <laughs> it could be Barry. It could be Wally. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's the Flash mm -hmm. with powers yes. and the costume. And why is he going to be on the show? They haven't said why. No, they like, just what said what's happening with the Flash. Well, the Flash is uh, you know going to be a part of this uh, group of people, whatever. Never heard of in, in some kind of movie, um, Justice League or something like that. I've never heard of never it. Before. Heard of is he and he's also going to get his own TV. Wait, show. wait, wait, wait. So are you telling me that my man's gonna be a, a guest star into his own show, into his own, into show. his own movie, and then into another movie where he's also important? Yeah, it is a good time to be a Flash fan, man. <laughs> <laughs> like he, he's about to just like you know just run away with it, which yeah. So since he runs a lot. He's good at that. Yeah, they're basically they're basically backdoor backdoor piloting the Flash. Yeah, and uh, starting no Green Lantern. In, no in, Green Lantern. I'm sad. I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend like you didn't mention. I like their banter when they're together in the comic books and the I love, animations. I love Green Lantern. Yeah, but okay, and this is not Ryan Reynolds' fault. No matter how that's what not his fault. Is, it's not his fault. He acts horrible, he acts. Yeah. That, that's his. That's his, that's yeah. why you hire him is to act like that. Yeah. So like it was a horrible script. You hired the wrong. You hired the wrong actor, and then you used kitty effects. Yeah. Like no one wants to see Green Lantern making race cars unless he's Deadpool. Which he was. You hired Deadpool to put on the Green Lantern ring, <laughs> and, uh, and and that you might work it. for you. But but, yeah. but you, what you got was Deadpool Green Lantern. So you want if you want like John Stewart Green Lantern, then you hire somebody who is like John Stewart, or you hire a Hal Jordan who actually comes off as you know a, a tough guy. You don't hire Ryan Reynolds. I think people would have responded better to um, what's his name, John Stewart, because Hal Jordan doesn't really have. A character. <laughs> well, he does. But he seems kind of like like compared to like some of the other, like because like for example, Hal Jordan, he's like he's he's like he's a cocky white guy pilot. We we've seen that character before. Mm -hmm. John Stewart, like I loved in the, in, the, in the Justice League cartoon where they had that episode where he went back in time to World War Two mm -hmm. and had a, had a put up with uh, the, all the like the racism, the racism and stuff. stuff. See that adds layers to a character. Where he he can't just go anytime, anywhere, any place, and then just be oh by the way I'm Green Lantern. <laughs> you know, true. like he can't just do that, and he just adds more of a dimension to it. I mean, shoot, Guy Gardner has more character to me than uh, Hal Jordan, and I hate Guy Gardner. Everyone should hate Guy Gardner. Yes. Guy Gardner. but Guy I have, but I have a feeling towards. I don't have a feelings towards Hal Jordan. See, I like Hal Jordan, but I agree with you that Hal Jordan doesn't have enough layers. I mean, yeah. as a, as a character, because he is basically just every. Army pilot out Ever, there. Ever, yes, he's that same. He's he's, he's everybody. That guy. Yeah, he's, he's every he's guy. Everybody from Top Gun. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's Tom Cruise, basically. Is what he is. So I mean, Tom Cruise probably would have done a better job. He actually probably would have. I don't like him, but he would have done a better job as Green Lantern. But, but but also then again, back to the special effects thing. You know, yeah. like like if you had John Stewart, then you know you're not going to get stupid campy things like baseball bats and 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 toy race cars. You're going to get machine guns, missiles, and a lot of him just using the ring as a laser gun. Yeah. Because that's what he does. He doesn't he doesn't make a bunch of stuff. He just blasts you with it. Yeah. Like why waste the time making a structure? Yeah, just blow you up. Yeah, just bam, so, done. So yeah, no, he would have been better. And like you could make a you could make a John Stewart T V show. I'm I'm putting that out there, you know. If y'all do it then pay off your comedy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah, I mean like, I I think he I think he would do a lot and one, you'd bring in the black community because right now a lot of black people don't really yeah, that's true. In the comic books, and if you put a prominent black person in there, I mean, come on, 
Come and on. let's face it, a lot of people from this generation think that Jon Stewart was the first Green Lantern anyway. Yes, because we all grew up watching the same cartoon show. I actually, it didn't. I I didn't know that there was another Green Lantern until about seven or eight years ago. I thought it was just the black one, and then also Guy Gardner. Don't ask me how I found out about Guy Gardner without reading comic books, but I did. Uh, be the the Batman TV show, um, mm-hmm. Brave and the Bold. Yeah, I never watched that. You never watched Brave and the Bold? No, because it looks stupid. Who else is getting a TV show? Oh yeah, now. For all you uh, nerd guys out there, and you know, woman power women out there, Wonder Woman is also going to be getting a show, but she's not going to be Wonder is Woman. Is this one going to work though? Okay, that first try at Wonder Woman TV show where they made her some corporate raider and put her in the plastic outfit. She was a corporate raider. Yeah, she was a corporate raider, and she was she in the plastic. Outfit. I would never do that. That's why it didn't work. Oh, okay, now I understand. Now I understand. <laughs> like, oh, and also the costume looked like crap. I mean, it did. It looked terrible. It was horrible. You know. And then the woman who was playing Wonder Woman, she she's like, I'm so hurt that the show never got the chance to make it. It sucked. I didn't even see it. Is she sucked. gonna be the one they picked for Wonder Woman that time? No, 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 no. It's gonna be a younger girl, like oh. a, like like a hot young twenty year old girl, because this is gonna be her growing up on Paradise Island and preparing to become Wonder Woman. Not her and being then the, Wonder Woman. And then the show will end with her being Wonder Woman. Yeah. And then that person, by that point, will be a little older and will be able to play Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. in the movies, hopefully. Wait a minute, but the movie's coming out in 17, so... Yeah, so but so, 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 they so, so, like three it's, years. It's going to be like a short-run TV show. And or, then they're going to go into League and then come back as another TV show. Either that or Paradise Island and Wonder Woman won't be the same person who plays Wonder Woman on TV uh, in the movie. Right. Because, I mean, like, the guy who plays um, Superman in Smallville... Is Flash going to be the same Flash in the movie? That's a very good Because I've heard people th- talking about maybe having a... Steve, Steve, Steve Steve, Steven, Stephen Mell. Yeah, Stephen Mell um, being in, in League. So, like, here, here's what I think would be the greatest thing ever. You make, like... You, you know like everyone has like, their own comic book, and then they come together for, like, a series together, mm-hmm. and then they go back to their own comic book? I think media should be like that. They should have their own TV shows, which is like a comic book, mm-hmm. and they have a movie together, and then go back to their own TV show. That way, it's like, instead of, you know, little contained storylines, you're just watching them grow as characters yeah and and there and there 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 is some um there there has been some history of that happening because i mean the precedent was set with like 21 i just want 21 24 is uh getting ready to get a movie um let me see what was that uh the x files has had like four movies. yeah and it's always the same people yeah yeah and it's still the same those same people you know it does happen that that um tv shows cross over to movies and movies cross over to tv shows and vice versa i mean they're, they're still working on that incredible hulk tv show for real yeah for real with uh ruffalo or probably not ruffalo what that, that's dumb why would you not want money well, because I think that they're saving Ruffalo for the movie, so yeah, I think that but uh, he should be like he really should. Because I mean, you got Coulson for Shield. So. Yeah, that's, that's awkward though, like because Coulson is doing Shield, and he's still like he's been three movies this year. True. <laughs> so like clearly, you have time to just, you know to keep doing. So that. you really could just have just Ruffalo do, on a TV show. Come in, film thirteen episodes as, as Banner, which is not intensive anyway. You, well, you, you walk around like, oh, I'm thinking, oh, I'm sad, I'm angry, and then Hulk takes the rest of it for you. Well, actually, it'll be more like twenty two episodes. Don't 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 eat your numbers on me. But yeah, <laughs> come in, do the number of episodes, and then go back to doing movies. By the way, I saw him in Now You See Me. Mm-hmm. He he was really cool in that movie. Spoiler alert, he was the magic guy. Next thing, Injustice. We've been talking about it for a while. That's because there was bad. nothing really to talk about. Yeah, M- Martian Manhunter came out. But uh, they announced uh, yesterday that uh, Zatanna will be coming out. She's awesome. She's wearing her classic costume, which means almost nothing on, which is fantastic. Next is going to be Sub-Zero. Uh, which would be kind of cool, and then after Sub Zero we have Power Girl, which is gonna make everybody which happy. Which is gonna make me and, extremely happy. And she'll come out, and you know there'll be a Supergirl skin. I want the one from Apocalypse, when, uh, from when she got taken over by Darkseid. The 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 red leather thing, the that bad she was the, the bad girl thing she was going on with. She gotta give Supergirl her regular suit. No, that one as well. But I will buy both. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, so yeah, that's that, then that, then that's probably going to be the end because NetherRealm Studios said that. They'd like to keep making new characters, but they have other projects to attend to, which means they don't like being successful or getting money or being relevant. Because no one cares about any other games other than MK and Injustice. But you know what you know that, that really means? It means that they're going to try to do another Mortal Kombat. Why? No, no one cares. No one cares. Just put Mortal Kombat characters as DLC into Injustice and keep giving us more superheroes. Yeah, and make, make the Mortal Kombat characters 
like as less awesome as they would be in a fight with superheroes. Right? You know, like get over here, Superman. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, Scorpion. In fact, I would rather get over here. <laughs> I think I'd rather laser eye you. you right? know? So that's uh, what's going on with Injustice. Uh, when it comes out, we may do some gameplay on it. We may not, you know. But uh, for sure, at uh, GameStop Expo 2013, at the end of the month, we'll be playing Injustice there. Mm-hmm. And a few other things like the PS4 and the Xbox One. I mean, I'm sure the line for that will be non-existent. But if we find some time to not be standing in line for PS4, we'll go over there and check it out. You know, no, you know, there's gonna be a line because there are gonna be some idiots. There, there are people who are like five guys. They're like five guys. There are people who've actually bought it. Actually, from what I understand, the sales are now about even. Yeah, it's on about Xbox equal. One because people PS4. are stupid. Yeah, like all of you remember, we warned you. They are going to implement all that crap they said they weren't going to the moment right. you, they but get the people are like, But they have exclusives. First of all, the, the Xbox is always watching and listening to you. That's creepy. Second of all, you got to be always online with the daily check-in crap, which is stupid. And you have to have freaking uh, Xbox Live to, ha- to do anything cool. Yep. Which is dumb. And, and plus, PS Plus gives you more value for the se- for, le- for actually for less money. And then people say, well, they have exclusives. They have Halo and Gears of War. First of all, that's dumb because those games suck at this point. It's the same thing over and over again. And the guys who made Halo are now making a game for both consoles. So you still have your Halo fun. And then there's also this other thing. Maybe not when you first start out, but eventually you won't be able to do this. Thank you for sharing this game with me at no cost to me or yourself. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> they, they did an ad like that. This is how you share your games on PS4. Thanks. PlayStation. And the Connect is gonna be spying on you. Yeah, exactly. Like, hey, I'm gonna walk in. I'm gonna walk into my room one day, get ready to play my Xbox, and it's gonna be turning, watching me. Mm-hmm. And, and then you will turn it off and go. I can't let you do that, Davy. <laughs> that was creepy. It was creepy. You said that's gonna happen to all you guys if you buy an Xbox <laughs> One. But yeah, buy a PS4, please. You'll you'll be you'll be happy. Yeah, you'll be better people. You don't need a freaking PlayStation Eye if you don't want to. Also, random note, Disney Infinity. We're going to play it. You have decided that Skylanders is done. Their time is over. It's time for Infinity. Because Infinity leaves that they, they are open for uh, uh, Star Wars and, and Marvel. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of that, um, well, I guess like one last little note. The new Star Wars stuff is getting ready to come out. Okay, now, um, Han Solo is like 72 years old. Right. Okay. Luke Skywalker is like 65 years old. Mm-hmm. Princess Leia is like 65 years old. I have a little bit of a problem with them having like 20 year old kids in in this movie. Now you can say they're space people or whatever. I'm just saying yeah. they are a little bit they're they're, old for their 20 they're, they're year old CGI children. They're going to the crap out of them. <laughs> Like, they've got Princess Leia right now losing losing weight. You know they they, they hire Disney actually hired her a personal trainer to, oh, really? get, to get in shape for the movie. How about uh, Luke? He looks bad. Have you seen him? I've met him. He looks bad. He's man. he's funny though. He's cool. He's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. I've met but, him. He is not ready for Luke right now. But Mark Hamill looks bad, dude. He just Mark Hamill. We love you though. Yeah. You're, you're, what love? We want you, you yeah. get in shape for the movie, but also so you you stay alive and do more Joker voices. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, especially the the whole the the whole you retired from the Joker thing. Don't take that back. Yeah, take that back, please. You're the, <laughs> you're the best Joker voice out there. Right. Since Heath Ledger's dead. By the way, speaking of Star Wars, is uh is Clone Wars still a thing? I think they've got like one more season. Okay. And then, but they're getting ready to do another Star Wars TV show. Okay. But uh, so yeah, that's what we feel about all things we just said. We have some, as always, have exciting stuff coming up. Working on some stuff right now. Um, like we told you last week, we're still working on the store. Mm-hmm. Hopefully that's going to get up and running pretty soon. Uh, we're, looking, we're excited for that. But uh, until next time, you've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys.